big chunky head. Hi, I'm Peter Birch and welcome to Criticam. Today we're here in this beautiful forest that we're going to do something pretty cool. So what we've got today is we actually got another mystery bag. I know these get a little bit boring, but this particular animal was caught in a neighbor's backyard. It was a bit of a problem animal and it's a very special animal. So I thought today we're gonna make a little cool snippet about this. So I'm gonna put it up here and open it up. And then I'm gonna invite my cameraman in so we can get some good footage of this beautiful creature. Now, just take a moment, Mr. Cameraman, to do a bit of a sweep and check out this beautiful area. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. This is what we call a dry sclerophyll forest here in Australia. So it's got these beautiful iron barks. It's got these nice big sandstone rocks. Look at this with all the lichens on them. And it also has the black boys. These things are absolutely gorgeous, the black boy grasses. They can grow to about two meters, so about my size. So very big indeed. Now I've done a pretty good job here of tying this knot, but that's okay, we're getting through it. And what we'll do is um, I'll just get myself trusty old stick and um, we'll let this guy out so come on in and check this out. There it is. It's an absolute cool little snake. These guys don't grow typically very big at all and in fact this is probably a, a medium on the medium size and um, it's gonna come out slowly. Now this is a highly venomous snake. It's a Stevens banded snake so we've got to be very cautious when we're handling this guy. And I mean, the scientific name is Hoplocephalus, which means broad head. And as you can see, he does have a very chunky head for his body size right there. Now, one of the cool things, I'll just get you to take a step back. One of the cool things with this particular species, it's uh, one of the very few arboreal alapids. In other words, one of the very few front fanged venomous snakes we have in here in Australia that particularly live in these areas. Now we're right on the southernmost tip for these guys here. Now it's, it's as you can see, he's very adapted for climbing and he will um, definitely climb across there really quickly. So we definitely want to make sure we keep our fingers well away. And of course we don't want any else to get anywhere near it. Now these guys are absolutely gorgeous creatures. Now some really cool facts about these particular species is they're typically found at a height of about 20 meters in the trees. Now that's just not me making crazy claims. There was actually some uh, radio telemetry work. So they put little radio trackers in these guys and then they track them. And they found that they live nearly 20 meters up trees. They live under the barks. And of course they're eating anything that climbs the trees. They'll also take down some of the small, we have small pygmy uh, possums. Now these guys have eaten those and they've been found eating them. So once again, not crazy claims, it's all pure science. Now they are, what you can say, probably a little bit on the boring size, side as in color, but you can definitely see those nice thick bands, irregular sort of markings, and um, big chunky head. Now these guys do um, pack a bit of a punch with a venom. That venom is very closely related to Natikus or tiger snake venom, um, which a really cool fact is, um, I'm not very partial to. In other words, I'm a little bit hypersensitive to tiger snake venom and um, all associated animals to tiger snakes, including these guys. So isn't that just an absolute gorgeous creature? I mean, occasionally you'll find them down on the ground on rocks, um, in rainforests. Uh, you'll find them crossing roads. And in... There was one time we found four of these crossing the road at night on a really hot night. And, and people would say, yeah, but you're saying it's an arboreal snake. Well, these guys don't actually leap from tree to tree like some of the other snakes where they have extra folds of skin. So these guys have actually got to come down the trees, cruise across the ground, and then go back up the next tree. So, I mean, absolute gorgeous little critters right there. Get some nice cool footage of that. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's liberation day. 
so I'm going to take him over there and give him a good chance of life, that's right. So he's come away from someone's house where he could have problematically been executed for all the wrong reasons. He's just doing his own thing, just happened to be in the wrong space at the wrong time. And I mean, unfortunately, a lot of reptiles are persecuted for these reasons. Um, and obviously because they're not cute and fluffy, which is very sad indeed. So um, I think we might take him down that way and let him go. So I'm going to head down there and see how the cameraman goes, if he can keep up or not. Now, uh, I guess just before I let him go, one of the scarier facts about these particular species is um, they're known as the readily to bite individual snakes. In other words, if you guys give these a bit of an opportunity, they will um, take it at every time, give you a bit of a nibble. So, and I mean, envenomation is gonna be something very, very nasty indeed. So I'm gonna put him on this old man banks here and hopefully he's gonna go upwards. I said go upwards into freedom. Like this. I mean, check that out. That's an absolute gorgeous animal. Now, if you like today's show, guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, I'll be out here enjoying nature and probably watching this guy until he makes it all the way up the tree. Thanks for watching Critic Ham.